Hello everyone, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit, and today I am going over my end of July layout share. I know I'm a little bit early, however, the end of this month is going to be super, super busy. So I, in going into August actually, it's going to be super busy too. So I'm going to show you guys my layouts, talk to you guys about my plans for August, and then also show you guys my empties for this month because I did use a lot of product on these layouts and used them up wisely. So um, before I get started, I did want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has... Um, subscribe to my channel over the past two months. I hit my milestone of um, a thousand subscribers and I really wanted to say thank you so much. Also a great thank you to Janet from RTS. She had posted something on her uh, page, her Facebook page, and everyone in the community went over and started following me and I just I appreciate all the love, the comment, the support, um, just everything. So thank you so much. I will be doing a giveaway next month. It is going to be a gift card and I will talk more about that in that video. So be on the lookout for my giveaway in August. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, this month I did participate in a uh, challenge called Off the Board hosted by Crystal over on Pineapple Papers. And basically this is where you take your pins from Pinterest, whether they be uh, sketches or layouts or even down to mood boards or textures. I saw just a really cool kind of collab that um, I was, I was blown away with how much I was able to get completed, but also like what everybody else took on theirs. So some people took mood boards, some people took uh, textures from a pin, and it's just, it was a lot of fun to just watch. And I just did sketches this month, just because it was a little bit easier for me and just being super busy with summer and everything, I just thought, that I would do that. Now I didn't do every single day because like I said, it's just been super crazy busy towards the end. I was doing really well in the beginning and then I kind of didn't finish. Um, I noticed that all the pins that I had put on my board for my uh, off the board, that the ones that were left over were a lot more challenging and I took a lot more time and I just didn't have the time to make them, but I still would love to make them in the future. So the majority of these will have process videos and what else? I used a lot of kits in this, uh, this month and you guys will see that I believe there was like two kits that I had had like a whole bunch of papers, a whole, like it was like a mega kit. Um, and when I say mega kit, I mean like it was like a collection and like a whole bunch of different like papers and embellishments and stuff. So you will see a theme of the ones that I had killed this month, but um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, this one right here was the first one that I did for off the board, and uh, I love how it turned out. It was using Jane Hatfield's, like, her collection, and I just, I really like the colors in this one, and I love how it matches Miss Stella's uh, PJs. This is another one that is super fun. And uh, the second one of this month, I love how I was able to use some of my thickers and get them on here that were like the brown because I realized I don't really scrapbook a lot in brown anymore. Um, so it was, it was nice to get that used up. And this is just Stella and her aunt and uncle. And yeah, super, super cute. And this one right here is using the daydream cocoa vanilla and a lot of older products so really like how this one uh, I was able to fussy cut those the little leaf reef and just use that as a whole really cute 
this one right here is using Chanel's, I think it's Chanel's uh, collection called Never Grow Up, like bits and pieces of hers. And then it's also using Amy Tangerine's Picnic in a Park. And this is just documenting when we went to the park. So this one does have a process video. This one, oh, as I drop my, my um, camera holder, or not my camera holder, it's my phone holder. Um, this one right here is a lot of fun. I This is using the Imagine That collection from Echo Park, and I just love it. I love how it fits with the theme um, of us on this little, like, green and blue airplane, and it's supposed to be, I guess, like, you know, monster themed and just space themed, so really like it. I put this kit together using a lot of different elements, and there is a process video for that. This one right here does not have a process video. It's using the same collection kit. And just, I I love, I love everything about this. I love, I got to use some of, this is from um, Chanel's older collection, Field Trip, I think it is. So I was able to use that. This one right here is using the same collection. And I don't have a process video for this, but this is just documenting Miss Stella and her love for dinosaurs and stickers and coloring and all that fun stuff. This one right here is a kit that I used and um, I think I used the majority of it up. There's just scraps left and I'm going to move that into my scrap bin. Love how this one turned out. It's probably one of my favorites, but this is documenting um, our epic family movie night. We went to go see... Um, Trolls won, and it was outside. This one right here is super simple and easy, and I love how I was able to include this um, big element right here of gold, uh, and I just, it, I love the colors on this one. It doesn't have a whole lot, but I do like this one, and this one does have a process video as well. This one, I made two of them. So I used basically the same uh, layout for both of them. And I had two kits of this, like Maggie Holmes. I had two page kits that I wanted to use up. And this was the easiest way to use them and just um, document these pretty pictures of my daughter and her her cousin I guess it's it's technically my cousin's little girl but we're technically they're technically cousins <laughs> they do everything they have so much fun together but one is for me and one is for her as a gift this one right here is using the Amy Tangerine collection that is new and I just love how this one turned out I love this collection um, and this is just documenting Miss Stella and uh, her sleeping, taking a nap. Um, but I love how the colors just match perfectly with this. So love this one. Um, and there is a uh, process video for that one. This is another, this is a labor of love right here. This took me a while to make. Um, and this was just using the... Uh, Disney themed uh, Echo Park paper that I have and documenting I used this old sticker right here called birthday boy and so this will be my empties um, because I used a lot of Jolie stickers um, and I'm really happy because they were super old like 2009 so love how this one turned out and there is a process video for this and that was documenting my friend's uh, son's first birthday. And then this one right here is using I'm Maggie Holmes. All of her, like this is her newer collection and then a little bit of her older collection as well with the stars and this right here that I had made last month for uh, embellishments on the 11th, which I totally forgot about this month. And so I'm super sorry. I will get that done next month for sure. Um, it just, this month, um, with, this summer has went by super super fast so I love that one of Miss Stella this one is uh one of the other collections that I used a lot of um I have a couple of layouts with it um and uh, just using a lot of these butterflies I used up you will see that 
these uh, Recollections butterflies I used up to that were in my stash. So really happy with the amount of stuff that I used up this month. This one right here is probably my least favorite. Um, I just don't really care for it. I don't know if it's because of how blah it looks. Like I'm used to having a lot more color or a lot more patterns and this is just kind of less. Um, and that's how the, the scrapbook or the Pinspiration looked to me. Um, but I'm still going to keep it, um, but it's just not my, not my favorite to lay out this month, but I was able to get a lot of older collection or older embellishments used up. Like this big surprise is a Jolie sticker. These are recollection stickers back from like 2010, I think. So this is another kit that I had put together using really old, um, just old embellishments that I was trying to use up. And so it's a picture of Mistella and her pop-pop and they're picking ducks. And I just thought these little ducks right here that I got from Walmart matched perfect. I have some of these recollections little things and then these uh, rub ones right here are super old. I didn't think that they were gonna work, but they did. And so I was able to use them up as well. And so that's just documenting them at the carnival. And I love that one. This one right here is another fun one. This is using Coco Vanilla Sunkissed. Love it. Um, the Pinspiration, I believe, was from um, uh, Paige Evans. She had done something like this. And I just love the colors and I love the feel. And it just turned out super cute. So I love that one. And I was able to get some use out of my punches too. This is using the Jane Hatfield Patio Party. And I had saw this one, um, I had put it in a, like a big kit and I think I have like one more layout to complete with it. And then I can take the kit apart. I usually try to do that with my, with my, um, with my, my layouts, like I'll make a kit and then I'll, if it has like more than like two papers, like if it's like a whole, like a little bit of a collection left over, I'll try to stretch it with some other layouts. And this one has one more and I think I'll be done with it and hopefully I can use up the rest of the product with that. So maybe that'll be a challenge for next month. But love this one, love how it turned out, love how I was able to get some stuff used up. This is using that uh, Imagine That collection. Um, and I think for this one, I have one more, I think I just have a whole bunch of scraps and then, uh, the sticker sheet for it. So really, really proud of myself for using that. And I think what I will do is probably move that to another kit, or I might actually, um, just put it in my scraps and then move the stickers onto my stickers. So that is just documenting Miss Stella and her, um, cousin playing Legos and having fun. This one right here, oh, and those have all process videos, I believe. This is the first one now that, that I have said that doesn't have a process video. And so this is actually a scrap lift, almost to the T, um, of crystals from uh, pineapple uh, papers. And this is using the same collection when I saw her... Um, layout, I instantly was like, oh my goodness, I have all of those cut out too. This is a perfect way to use them all up. Um, and so that's what I did. I think hers is a little bit shorter or a little bit like they weren't spread out as much as mine, but I love it. It turned out so cute. I do not have a layout process video for this um, because I just, I just was one day wanting to get some scrapbooking done and sometimes you don't want to turn on the camera and do all that stuff. So love how this turned out. This one right here is another one that is from the patio party kit that I put together. It's just documenting Miss Stella and she's wearing a little flamingo. And when I saw the flamingos, I instantly put two and two together and decided I was going to make a page out of that because originally this was just going to be with another couple of um, photos, but it, I just pulled it on itself, just her being silly. So, and I love how I was able to bring in 
a lot of flowers. So this does have a process video. This one right here is another one that's not my favorite. Um, and you can tell the ones that are not my favorite, um, for me at least, is because a lot of the products are older. So I need to mix newer product with older product if I want to. I feel like if I want to really love it, I can't just have a kit made out of old product. Um, for me, I need a little bit of something that's new. So this is documenting Miss Stella and she's learning how to ride a bike, even though she can't really reach the pedals, but it's super cute. I, I mean, I do love it. I just feel like for me, the reason why I don't care for the ones that I don't care for, and there's three, I think that I'm just not like a fan of, um, is because now that I'm looking at it, like it's a lot of older product. And so for me, I need a, I need a mixture. So that is that. Um, this right here is using the Recollections Explosion Box kit that I have. Um, I still have a lot of this left, so I do want to try to use this up in the future. Probably not next month, but I'll talk about next month's, like what I'm doing next month after this. But super cute. Love it. It's just double trouble. So it's Miss Stella and her our doggy Ralph. So love that I was able to get a punch used out of that too. This one right here is another one of the ones that I'm not really a fan of. Um, I love the color combination. I just, like I said, I think it's just because it's all older product for me and I really need to get some newer product in there. So lesson learned that if I make a kit, I need to have some newer product in it. So I will note that, but this is just Miss Stella and her dad. They were, she was trying to wake him up. So, and he was sleeping. Now let me take a drink of water. This one right here is using that same like pink and teal collection with the flamingos and all the fun stuff um, for summer. I love this one. Super cute. This is just documenting our girls road trip. And I just love how it turned out. This one is the more recent one that you guys have saw on my channel. It is using a lot of that collection that I had from um, Echo Park. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Let me see. This is Oh Happy Day. And so that's that collection that I used like all these strips and used the punch and just used a lot of my, this is from my trolls kit that I put together. I love how it turned out. I love all the trolls, um, layouts I did. So this is, this does have a process video. And then the last one does not have a process video. I was like, I need to get this trolls kit done. So I had one more layout to do. It's kind of a, a mixture of all kinds of things. Like when you look at it, you're kind of like, whoa, that's a lot, Amanda. But I love it. I love, sometimes I love busy layouts. Sometimes I love not so busy layouts, but sometimes but the majority of the time I do. Um, I like some kind of like texture and just, I'm just one of those people that I need to have a lot of elements on my page. Um, and you know, sometimes I like to do it with it just being one photo and just a couple things like, but for me, this is the way I scrapbook. So love it. Love how it turned out. Got to use a lot of stuff up on this one. So let me talk to you guys about what my plans are. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do my empties and then we'll talk about my plans for next month. So in that trolls kit that I had, I had like three packs of troll stickers and these were each on the ones that were left from each kit. So I'm putting this in my sticker sheet or sticker book and calling it done. Um, and then I'm going to, um, I did have in here the sticker books, so I will be, be, uh, saying that they are completed because basically if there's one sticker left for me, I put it in my sticker book, but 
This one right here is actually from last month. So this is from the Perfect Autumn. I finished this towards the end of the month. So finally my first like sticker sheet that I've used up completely. Um, I think... I think maybe I just have one sticker from the, I don't know, but I, if I have like one or two, I, I put it in the sticker book. So I did use a couple of Martha Stewart stickers and, um, a little bit of ribbon on last month's, I believe this was last month's, um, empties. And I just added them in with this. This is, uh, I don't even know, to be honest. I don't. So used up something. <laughs> Um, this is a little thing of gems I used up. This was a paper pad that I used up. This is the Lime Twist. This is super old, 2011. This was the little duckies, the glitter duckies that I used. So got to use those up. And then there was like a strip of, um, little dots that I used as well. These were the rubble ones. I remember that they were in here and I wanted to use them up. So got those used. This right here is my first pack of thickers actually completed. Like that's crazy to me. So it's wonderful from Willow Lane. Used it up completely this month. This right here is the gold little, uh, what were they? The gold little butterflies that I had on, I had them all, like all on maybe one or two pages. These were the two Jolie's, um, surprise and the baby, the birthday boy, uh, titles that I used. So they were from 2009, which is pretty old newer I mean you know in my stash back then they were really relevant but um just really I'm excited to use them up I use these Kaiser Craft uh glass circles on some layout so I use those up let me see if I can find one of those so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I know which one it is I look through a million so it's like this right here this is the glass mold or the glass little circles this is the butterflies and then these are the next butterflies right here that I used up the dimensional stickers so these were from 2019 so I used those up I was happy to use those up this was the big dinosaur on one of the layouts for Stella's sticker Sticker love for dinosaurs. Um, and then I used up these Sun Kiss. I believe I might have had like one or two of these. And then I just stuck them in my um, sticker book. So considering that one used up, this one, this floral ephemera is done. So I was happy to use that up. And if you would have asked me like, man, a couple years, like when I first started, I would have hoarded these, like I would have not used them. So I really need to be good and start using my stuff a lot more. These were on one of the layouts. They were the, um, oh gosh, the ice cream. They were on the ice cream layout. So had those, these were the little circle elements that I used on a couple of layouts. And those are from 2010. And then the last thing was three of the troll stickers. So, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one things used. Twenty one things. That's pretty, that's pretty good. So pretty happy about that. Um, and then, so let me just go ahead and put something down so you guys can see. So my plans, let's talk about plans really quick before this video gets too, too long. My plans for 
this month, well, next month, sorry, not this month, are to, obviously, I'm going to have a giveaway, but I am actually going to probably not have as many videos um, as I did just because August is just going to be super busy, so I can't commit to something every single day, but I will try. Um, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to be doing layout videos this month because I am actually going to be working on prepping for 30 days of sketches. Um, and that's going to be with September, uh, Scraptember. And so my plan is to, I have a pack of, uh, page kits that I have put together. Um, and I kind of want to go through them and make individual page kits, um, and add more embellishments because what I had noticed is that the page kits that I used this month had scraps, had, uh, I, I had more fun doing things with like scraps and, um, extra like brads and stuff like that like if it was just a page and not like no stickers I would have had a hard time so I really want to go through them and see which ones I can do and pull them and I will be sharing them with you guys I don't know how I'm going to do this I don't know if I'm going to be if they're going to be short videos if they're going to be long videos with like a whole bunch of like you know five kits together or just one and like maybe me pulling, pulling like alphas for one. Cause some of them only need like a couple of things. Some of them only need scraps and that's it. So I think I'm going to think about it and think about what I'm going to do. Uh, but I do plan on doing some sort of video. I don't know if it's going to be every day, but we will try. Um, and I will have a giveaway next month. So make sure you guys look out for that. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for hopping on and watching this video. I appreciate all your support, your likes, comments, um, subscriptions. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will also have everybody that are that is doing the off the board challenge because we they still have technically a couple more days. So I will have them linked down below um, as I have before and you can go check them out and see what they're doing for the end of the month. So I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.